there, my friends. Most of you are already well aware what a humongous Sega Saturn lover I am. So you can only imagine the heartache that I experience when I hear people say that they don't think the Saturn is worth owning and collecting for because the games are all too expensive. While it is true that there are quite a few Saturn exclusives that can run you a couple hundred dollars per game, there are, in my opinion, plenty of other affordable options for both the hardcore gamer as well as the casual one. As a really quick disclaimer before we go ahead and get this party started, I do want to mention that all of the prices that I'm going to be sharing with you are current and accurate for right now in May 2016. So if you're watching this a couple months down the line, there is no guarantee that all the prices will be about the same, but hopefully they will be. Well, let's go ahead and get this party started. My sister Bear and I are super duper excited to present to you 10 Sega Saturn games that are less than $30. Regardless of whether you've ever owned or played anything for the Sega Saturn, chances are that you've heard of the Sonic Team's phenomenal creation, Nights into Dreams. And as you should have, the game is truly a masterpiece. I honestly could spend an entire video explaining why this game is a timeless and immersive sensory experience unlike anything else, but I'll just leave it at this. Buy this game. Prices for Nights into Dreams are presently as low as $18 online if you're okay with receiving just the game and not the box set including the 3D analog controller. On average, you'll find this closer to $25 on both Amazon and eBay, so if there's one game from this list that I'd recommend for you above the rest, this would be it. Clockwork Night, first released in Japan as Clockwork Night Pepperojo's Adventure First Volume, is an endearing side-scrolling platformer that was released on the Saturn back in 95 for the North American audience. It follows the journey of a clumsy, love-struck toy soldier in his journey to save the Clockwork Fairy Princess Chelsea after she's unfortunately gone missing. Now the game's relatively short and simple, but it's aesthetically pleasing enough for its time due to its excellent combination of 2D sprites and 3D models. What's even better is that you can find copies of Clockwork Night practically anywhere online for roughly $25. So, if you're looking for a quick platforming experience, Clockwork Night is a great bargaining choice to add to your Saturn library. If you're seeking the arcade experience of the original Virtua Fighter within the comfort of your own home, then look no further than Virtua Fighter Remix. Hitting the scene in 1995 as an updated version of the charming fighting game, VFR Remix sports higher polygon models, improved texture mapping, as well as a few updates to gameplay. What's even better is that this bad boy can currently be found for anywhere from $10 to $20 between Amazon and eBay. So, if you're craving a platform to duke it out with your siblings retro style, Virtua Fighter Remix is a great place to start. Channeling the spirit of the popular Sonic the Hedgehog game of the 90s, 1995's Bug is a side-scrolling 3D rendered adventure platforming title that was developed by Real-Time Associates for the Sega Saturn. One interesting thing about this title is that you can move your tiny hero in several different directions, such as scaling vertical surfaces or even moving upside down. Borderline revolutionary for its time, Bug is a must-have purchase for anyone seeking some easy Saturn fun for less than 25 bucks on eBay. Not everyone is into flight simulators, but if this happens to be your sort of thing, then 1995's Wing Arms for the Sega Saturn should be right up your alley. Admittedly, this World War II flight simulator doesn't feature the most incredible voice acting of its time. Well, okay, I'll be honest, it's downright terrible. I'm your captain. Listen up and listen good. There's no room for air. However, considering the time of its release, Wing Arms is overall a rather excellent flight sim thanks to its wide variety of missions, responsive and smooth control system, challenging AI, and appealing graphics. Even if you aren't that interested in this specific genre of games, Wing Arms shouldn't run you more than 25 bucks between Amazon and eBay. And if you're lucky, I've seen some copies circulating for as low as $12. So you've got nothing to lose in picking this up for your Saturn collection. Scud the Disposable Assassin is a fun 1997 title that is based on the comic series of the same name. You can essentially expect a Contra-like side-scrolling shooter that does contain a few first-person scenes here and there. As long as you aren't looking for an intense running gun experience, you can count on Scud to bring you a bit of entertainment for as low as 10 bucks on Amazon or eBay. Okay, okay, I know what you guys are thinking. Rabbit, Sonic 3D Blast? Seriously? Everyone knows this game is garbage. Why would you troll newcomers of the Saturn into thinking this is worth buying? Well, not so fast, my judgmental friends. 
People sling a lot of shit at this game, some of which is deserved since it didn't really feel that much like previously released Sonic titles. 3D Blast is slower paced and much easier than what Sonic fans had grown accustomed to handling, but to its credit, it has rather lovely visuals and animations, and the colors are vibrant and aesthetically pleasing. The music was upbeat and fun, and I personally found the bonus stages to be extremely enjoyable and seemingly like a precursor to Sonic Adventure. While some of you may not think that this game is worth the 20-ish dollars that you'll find it for on Amazon, I think it's inexpensive enough to at least give it a try. And let's be honest, if you're going to own Sonic 3D Blast, the Sega Saturn's version was undeniably the best of its 3.8 release options. Deep Fear was Sega's 1998 answer to Capcom's incredibly popular Resident Evil franchise. Somewhat unfortunately for North American players, though, this game was never released for our region. However, if you're willing to import the game from Japan for your Saturn, Deep Fear oddly enough features an all-English cast of voice actors. Additionally, while not all the menus are in English, most of them are, which makes this one Japanese exclusive that should be relatively easy to pick up and play without too much fear of a language barrier. Now what's even better is that you can find this survival horror game for roughly $15 on Amazon. So what are you waiting for? If you're a fan of this gaming genre, then this is one title that you don't want to miss out on. I promise. Action shooter games aren't entirely my thing, but Amok for the Sega Saturn surprisingly provided more entertainment than I expected. Released in North America in 1996 for the PC, 97 saw the Saturn version's availability. The game isn't the most groundbreaking of its kind, but its third-person seek-and-destroy format was fast-paced and relatively engaging. Additionally, its controls were fairly precise and the varied gameplay between traversing across land and through water allowed for a fun enough experience to justify its $20 to $25 price tag on both Amazon and eBay. If you typically enjoy games within the shooter genre that come equipped with responsive controls, intuitive gameplay, and a rather becoming soundtrack, Amok is a solid choice for you. Team Andromeda's kickstart to a wonderful franchise, 1995's Panzer Dragoon is a rail shooter classic praised for its stunning visuals, unique gameplay, and captivating plot. Although the series seems to be predominantly known through its cult classic RPG title, Panzer Dragoon Saga, the original Panzer Dragoon is an affordable option for those wanting to experience the series from its roots. Pricing varies and fluctuates heavily with this title, but if you keep your eyes peeled, they're usually floating around eBay for anywhere from $25 to $28 on any given day. Even if you have to spend a little bit extra to secure this guy into your collection, Panzer Dragoon is a game whose value I think is absolutely worth towing the $30 price tag. And there you have it, my friends. Those are just 10 wonderful games for the Sega Saturn that shouldn't cost you too much of a pretty penny to get your hands on. Now these suggestions certainly don't constitute a complete collection, nor are they technically the best of the best. But Bear and I hope that if you were previously putting off purchasing a Saturn because of its exorbitant pricing on a couple of its games, this list will hopefully have shed some light on a couple more affordable options and maybe just some titles that you weren't even aware existed. Thank you so very much for watching everyone. We hope you enjoyed our video and we will both be in touch with you very soon. Take care. Thank you so much for watching this video, you guys. If you enjoyed it and would like to see more content from me, make sure you hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with future vids. In addition to making lists and countdown videos, I also create retro game reviews and let's plays. I just recently finished a quick run through of Heavy Barrel for the Nintendo Entertainment System, so feel free to check that out if you don't mind watching me struggle to victory. If you'd like to keep in touch with me outside of YouTube, I'm fairly active across numerous forms of social media. Here are just a few places where you can find me. Check the description box below for links. Thanks again for your time everyone. I hope you enjoyed this list of inexpensive Saturn games from me and my sister. We'll both be in touch with you soon.